superheroes. I'm Pink Phoenix, coming to you from Purdue University College of Veterinary Medicine's League of Vetahumans. Today, our special guest on Vetahumans Live is Vetahuman in training, Kamaliona. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you for having me. It's an honor. This is going to be really fun. To get started, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah. So my name is Keshla Marrera Costa. I was born and grew up in the Caribbean island of Puerto Rico. I went to college in the University of Puerto Rico, Rio Piedras campus, and I'm currently a vet student at Purdue College of Veterinary Medicine, and I'm a second year. That's awesome. I love your superhero name, Kamaliona. Is there a story behind it? So it's not necessarily a story, but I figured it was a name that kind of reflected my personality. Camaleona is based on chameleons, who are animals that are capable of adapting to different situations and environments in order to survive. And I feel like that kind of represents me. It's also a mix of words. So in Spanish, camaleon is a traduction for chameleon. And so camaleona is sort of the female version of that. That's great. I love chameleons. <laughs> Can you tell us when you decided to become a veterinarian? Was there a person that influenced you or something that happened that made you want to be a vet? Funny that you ask. I actually don't know when exactly I wanted to become a veterinarian. From as long as I can remember, like ever since I've been a child, whenever someone asks, hey, what do you want to be when you grow up? I just said, I want to be a vet. I just knew that it was someone that worked with animals. And whenever I saw a picture of someone that with animals, I was like, I want to do that. And that has never changed for my entire life. I always wanted to do that. And here I am getting closer to that. I love it. That's awesome. How did you turn that little kid's dream of being a vet into where you are now? So even without knowing what it really was, I always knew that I liked science. So I would always do good in those subjects in school, like science and math. I also got involved in different science projects, as well as scientific experiments when I went to high school. I also did undergraduate research projects. And also back the, in the day, my dad used to help when my dogs would give birth. And I always was the person he went to for help. And I just loved doing that. I loved working with my dogs. I loved helping him out. And I just wanted to be someone who dedicates herself to that. That's wonderful. As you were doing all of these things, what did you think vet college would be like? In a single word, hard. <laughs> so, and it is hard. It is very hard. And even though I've always been preparing myself for being in vet school, since it's always been my goal, but that doesn't change the fact that it's it's a very difficult um, process to be in. Vet school is a roller coaster. It has great and not so great moments, but you always have to look at it from a positive perspective because after all, it's, it's part of the journey of achieving our goal. I have met so many amazing people and I'm so grateful to have met them and I've learned so many cool things and I will not change that for anything. And I hope that continues for a long, long career in veterinary medicine. Me too. What's your favorite class in vet college and why is it your favorite? I think my favorite class so far has been bacteriology. I just find it really cool how these little beings exist and they're able to do so many things and they can do so much good. And at the same time, they can do so much damage. It's kind of like humans if you think about it. We're small if you look at it from the perspective of the universe, and we can do so many things you would never think of. And I also like VSAC and the VSAC team. I love them. They make sure that we learn everything that we're supposed to, and it's our most um, hands-on kind of practical class. And I feel like I learned so many things from that class, so those would definitely be my top two. Can you tell us more about the VSAC class? I think that's uh, veterinary skills and competencies. Yes. What are some of the things you get to do? So we do pretty much everything that we are supposed to know for clinical practice. So things like doing physical exams and dogs and cats, um, as well as large animals. We do practice vaccinations, practice how to take temperature, um, the pulse, respiratory rate. We do catheterizations, pretty much everything that every vet is supposed to know. I love that part of vet college, too. 
Can you tell our listeners what has been your best day ever in vet school? So this question kind of took me a while to figure because I have terrible memory. So I was trying to go back in like the last two years to figure out what was the best day. So my best day at vet school was probably when the exotics club got together and we made a little road trip to the avian and exotic animal clinic at Indianapolis. We got together and we helped the staff. We did vaccinations on rabbits all day. We attended a spay and a neuter of a rabbit as well. We got to see different um, patients that were coming in, like a green iguana. We also saw a cockatiel, which I love. And it was a really, really good time and learned so much. I love that clinic and that team. They're my veterinarians. (laughs) I bring my lizards there. (laughs) Yes, Dr. Lennox is the best. Yeah, she is amazing. (laughs) I have to ask, Mm -hmm. because vet school is hard enough. What's it like being a vet student during the pandemic? So it's certainly different. Purdue has done a really good job of keeping us safe, but we'll stir, still participating in group activities, which I'm so thankful for. But obviously, it's not the same. It's funny because at different points in my first year, um, I was still getting surprised when I saw my classmates' faces for the first time. I was like, oh my gosh, that's what they look like. <laughs> and it's kind of sad that we missed some of the traditional activities that we would do at Purdue, such as the furball. Um, and yeah, I'm able to have labs in person, which is something that I'm super grateful for because I feel like I wouldn't be learning as much as I would if I was completely online. Yeah, I really admire you, all of our students, uh, for sticking with things and and very impressed with how everyone is respecting others and staying safe and masking up and getting vaccinated and and taking things seriously. Yeah, it's definitely a responsibility that we all have to. And it's good preparation for the future because veterinarians take an oath to protect public health. That's right. We have to model that behavior. As you experience uh, all these new things, what kind of veterinarian are you thinking of being? And has that changed from when you applied to vet college? So I am planning on becoming an exotic animal vet or a zoo veterinarian. It's crazy because all of my life, I was super determined, like, I will become a veterinarian. I will get to vet school. And once I actually got to experience what it's like being inside vet school, I realized, wow, there's so many opportunities here. There are so many things that I could do. And I saw all the possibilities and all the jobs and different things you can do with the DVM. And it gets you thinking like, wow, maybe I can do something else. Um, So it's funny because I never thought what I would do after getting into vet school. And now it's something that I think of it, think about all the time. Yeah, there's so many options. It's the beauty of veterinary medicine. Mm-hmm. So when you're not studying hard and taking exams and getting all this experience, what are you doing for fun? My favorite thing to do is play video games. <laughs> That's what I like to do the most. And I try to take a little time off at least once a week to do that. Um, I also love to watch shows, movies, love taking naps, love talking to friends and just kind of relaxing. It's super important that you have to make time for these things when you're in vet school because most of the time I feel like I don't have time to do anything, but it's super crucial to do it. Very important. What's your favorite video game to play? Right now it's Apex Legends. (laughs) What types of shows do you like to watch? I think the most shows that I watch are actually superhero series. The last, yes. yeah, <laughs> and also Star Wars. So the last show that I started was The Book of Boba Fett. Ah, uh, awesome. <laughs> Who's your favorite superhero that's not in the League of Veta Humans? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite superhero is probably Iron Man. He's the one that I like the most. I know he's one of like the big leagues. Um, But he's probably my favorite personality. I also love Spider-Man. He's kind of an iconic character for Marvel, so I can't leave him out. Absolutely. I completely agree. I have an Iron Man poster in my basement. (laughs) (laughs) You have good taste. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Tell us about your superpowers. 
and how you're using them to inspire others through the League of Veti Humans. So like I mentioned earlier, chameleons have the power of adaptability, which is one of my superpowers, and my other one is reliance. So in veterinary medicine and in life, pretty much, you have to adapt to whatever comes, and you have to figure out a way to make it through. You also have to learn how to work in a team because no one is able to do absolutely everything on themselves. And that's where reliance kind of comes in. So I have my powers and I've used them to serve as a mentor to other people like me and to guide them so they know what they have to do in order to follow those steps that they want to and become students like me. And in the future, hopefully we can both become veterinarians. And that way I show them that they can trust me and I can help them in whatever it is they need. Well, you're doing an outstanding job being a mentor and being a wonderful colleague to your fellow students. And to me, I learned so much and I love watching you mentor kids from preschool all the way up. You do a a great job. Thank you so much. It makes me so happy to hear that. As we wrap up here, what inspirational message do you have for aspiring veterinarians in the audience? So I actually went through and got a quote from one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite series. And he says, failure is only the opportunity to begin again. And this quote was by Uncle Iroh from the Avatar, Avatar the, the Last Airbender, whom I love. <laughs> and so I resonated with this quote because I feel like no one likes to fail and no one wants to put effort in something only to not succeed. But I feel like failure is definitely part of life. You learn from your mistakes, and this is the only way you're going to grow as a person. So to everyone who's listening, don't let your failures discourage you from doing what you want to do. Keep trying, and one way or another, no matter how long it takes, you will achieve your dreams. That's an outstanding message. (laughs) Thank you. I am inspired. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it's been wonderful talking with you. Thank you so much for being on the show, Kamaliona. Thank you so Every- much for having me. It was awesome to talk to you and to talk to everyone who's listening. You can learn about other League of Veta Humans superheroes at vetahumans.org. If you like this episode, please subscribe, rate, and share it with your friends. And remember, use your powers for good. <laughs> <laughs>